Hello everyone and welcome back to Laser Penguin Games. Today I'm going to be going through the cube basics on Diablo 2 Median XL Sigma. Uh, just so you have an idea what the basic things you can do with the cube uh, when you're starting out. Okay, so I start with um, just gems. So any of the two of the same gem, you're going to put them in the cube and transmute and it will give you the next tier up to uh, perfect gems, which is the highest, um, and that's pretty much all all you need to know about the gems. It's put two in instead of three, like Diablo, the regular Diablo two game, uh, and you're gonna get the next tier. Uh, for runes, um, it's pretty much the same. Uh, so you're gonna need two to go to the next uh, the, the next higher rune. And you're gonna transmute that, get something higher. But the difference is. Um, when you have a ruin and you keep it by itself, it'll actually down, down tier it. So it'll go down one level every time you, you transmute, which is very useful um, when you need to f an exact rune. You can any, uh, just keep basically transmuting all the way down to the bottom. And if that's the one you need, then that's great. So you can get whatever you need <laughs> out of that. Okay, so. That. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at some of the new items here, which are the oils Greetings. and what they do. So I'm going to pick up um, a few of each and then we'll s see how they work. Each, um, each oil usually has a few uses. Uh, but we'll go through them. Okay, so we're gonna go through the craft one first. So the craft one uh, is used in three different ways, I guess. Um, you can turn basically shrines or crystals into like a vessel, which will basically let you stockpile um, more items into this th the vessel. So instead of like having four spaces in your inventory now it's only going to use two because now they're both piled together and to get them out out of the um, you just basically transmute it again you pull it out of uh, the cube and if you transmute the last one it'll just um, give you the old craft back again so this works the same for um, arcane crystals they turn into an arcane cluster and you can just keep adding to that uh, which saves you a lot of inventory space. Um, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know this for a while, so I, <laughs> I kind of had way too much in my stash and in my inventory. Um, the third thing you can do with the oils of craft are um, making jewels, but I'm gonna go over that in the next video I'm making. Um, so enhance. Okay, so if you find uh, oil of enhancement. Again, there's we're gonna see three uses for for this one also. Um, two I'm gonna show you here, and we're gonna wait on the third. So if you find basically any broken, discarded, low quality item, um, and you put an oil of enhancement in the cube with it, and you cube that, it's gonna turn into basically just a regular quality item. Um, and the reason that's uh, important is. Uh, you can then use that item uh, at Charcy with imbue to make it a rare later on. Uh, also, you're going to be doing that with sacred items, not not basic ones. So you're going to definitely want to save save all your imbues until you're you're high level. Uh, you're not going to be want to do it to, doing it to regular items. Um, but if you add another oil of enhancement after you have a regular item, it will then turn to a magic item. So it'll get some magic bonuses although it didn't I'm not sure why that turned to superior let's try again <laughs> let's try because uh, it's the other potion is supposed to give superior so let's see if it has to go superior first so maybe the gold normal superior then magic let's go here yeah okay so you're gonna take it's gonna take three potions to do it uh, and then you'll then I, I'm, I'm guessing so it's 25 enhanced damage there and I'm guessing uh, you can't use any more on it but we'll we'll try why not see what happens 
Yeah, so that's it. So you can go from low quality all the way up to magic. Uh, which is not bad. Uh, and then once you get it to once you get to magic, um, you can turn it into an honorific item with a mark of infusion, uh, which will double the orb effects on it. Now let's do it. There, orb effects applied to this item are doubled. So that's pretty much the best um, you can get off a of basic basic item, um, just keeping it magic. But uh, it's going to be more powerful when you get sacreds, turn them to, you'll turn them into magic, or sorry, you'll imbue them with Charcy, and then uh, you'll see what happens after that. So this item is it's done. Um, the other w thing you can do with the, the, uh, the oil of an enhancement is make uniques, uh, which I will also go over in, in the next video. Uh, let's go to oil of renewal. So... This one is going to be basically, this is your green potion here. Uh, it's going to make any item, so any, any item you put in that's not like a ring or amulet, um, it's going to just roll it as superior with a random amount of sockets. So it rolled no sockets with 14 ED, and this one though you can just keep re-rolling until you get what you want out of it. So this time it's two, I'm going to buy a few more to see if we can... Uh, See if it, it'll uh, roll um, a little, little bit better, but again, um, because it's a tier one item, um, I believe that in the max sockets is going to be um, three on this particular um, weapon. So again, you can just keep re-rolling uh, until you get uh, up to thirty. I believe it's thirty-five percent um, enhanced damage. Um, or sometimes you can add a bonus attack rating to to it, durability. Um, once you you have what you want, um, you're basically gonna try uh, the next oil, which is um, the oil of luck. So, oil of luck has a 20% chance to add like a bonus stat to whatever item, and the bonus stat is different depending on what item you're mixing it with. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, lucky bonus. Alright. So for weapons, um, it's gonna, if you get it, so again, it's only 20% chance, um, it'll add an extra 20% enhanced damage for armors. Um, it'll add defense and uh, physical damage reduction. I guess for for the weapons you can get more bonus attack rating too. Amulets is the most important one. You're gonna uh, which can add plus one all skills. Rings can add plus five percent spell damage. Um, quivers can add five percent to all attributes. And then if you do it on jewels, it can add random strength dex, energy, or vitality plus two. Um, but that's pretty much it for the oil of luck. It's basically just a <laughs> it's a twenty percent chance to get get a, a little improvement on your item. Um, the good thing with um, superior items, basically, you can just keep adding more green potions in and re-rolling it, um, and then keep trying the oil of luck until you get it. Uh, obviously, with uh, any other item. You won't be able to do that. Uh, it's basically only for when you're making rune words that that's going to apply, which we're going to go over again in the next video. Um, the last oil we're going to see here is the oil of disjunction, which is just used for unsocketing. So you can basically just say I put these in here. Uh, you're just gonna pop it in there and unsock it. The only um, thing you have to add is if you're basically unsocketing um, any superior item um, that's not magic, unique, uh, crafted, or rare. Um, you have to add three perfect gems to the recipe. So I'm gonna socket it with 
uh, let's just put in these runes here. But now I have to add the, the three perfect gems, or else um, it won't. I'll, I'll show you. It won't, it won't do anything. It'll be like denied. So you won't be able to unsocket that and get your stuff back unless you add in three perfect gems, and then it'll work out. The the gems will also be consumed. Uh, and the oil, and then you'll get back the weapon and whatever it was inside, or the armor. Uh, okay, let's move on to the orbs here. Okay, so... There's also, I mean, you're gonna see the ones in the store, which is the ones you're gonna be using for the most part. Uh, let's, we have a weapon here to mess around with, so... Uh, the ones on the very bottom here are all for your armor only. Um, these ones here are all for your weapons only. Then you have a section here which is uh, for any item actually. So you can put these on um, any item you're wearing at all. And then the top one is for only rings, amulets, and quivers. So we have a weapon and uh, we're gonna get a few weapons, so let's get some some enhanced damage to add and maybe some max damage. Maybe some deadly strike and crushing blow or something. Let's, let's, let's try that. Um, so the only thing you have to worry about with the orbs is that every time you add an orb, it's gonna add level requirement to that item. So in this uh, in this case, we're gonna add some enhanced damage. I'm gonna add some more. Uh, the other thing too is you can only add up to five of each orb. So you see, like the enhanced damage ones, I added two already. It only add, let me add three more before it just stops, basically. So you put on the cube and cube it, and nothing happens. Um, so you can see here that the the level requirement went up to 26 now because I added all those orbs. So you basically you gotta watch. Um, you gotta watch what you're doing with. The level requirement because if you put it out like above your level you won't be able to wear it anymore uh, the other thing too is that um, you're only going to want to add the orbs after the item has already been socketed because if you add a rune um, that was higher level than the base um, of the actual item so let's put a fill in there and you'll see so I believe that will be higher then um, up to 47, which didn't matter. Let's put in, let's put in something else here. Let's put in this uh, jewel here that's 57. So now it's going to add, yeah, so level requirement 77. So it's going to base, base the level on the jewel now instead of the item, and then it's going to add the orb levels on top of the jewel instead of the actual item itself because that's where the level started. All right, so there's that. Uh, and then we're going to go over disenchanting. So, when you're playing through the game, you're going to end up with uh, these two uh, catalysts, and they're for disenchanting. Um, and basically, you're going to use them to disenchant extra uniques um, and set items you get. Um, this one here the catalyst of disenchantment is for basically um, lower level items, tiered items. Um, and the other one, uh, the one of learning here, catalyst of learning is for sacred items, sacred uniques and set items. And I'll show you this. So you're gonna put it in your cube and then just take uh, any, well, let's we'll go with this one, here's unique. And you're just gonna cube it and it's gonna turn into one shard per unique that you have in the, in the cube. Um, shards are used basically only for crafting jewels and then turning into crystals. So you need five uh, arcane shards once you have, well, see, I guess if you have five or more it doesn't really matter, it'll turn it into um, one crystal and then you'll get the leftovers. So, um, and that's that's it, you get one crystal for every five. Uh, the only thing is you can't um, I don't, I don't believe you can turn it back into shards, so once it's a crystal, it's a crystal. So make sure if you want to craft jewels that you keep it as, uh, keep them as shards. And if you want to craft anything else, you're going to need the crystals anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, same thing, so like when you're um, 
when you're disenchanting also, you need to make sure like if you if you only want shards, you can only put up to four items um, at the same time in the cube when you're doing it. Because uh, if you put five or more, it's going to turn into a crystal automatically. Um, the last thing we're going over in the basics is um, the shortcut recipes. So for the act, so act two staff, um, which will help you uh, skip a lot actually. Um, it's going to take two arcane crystals and any healing potion, and for the act three. Um, Callum's mace basically to break the orb um, it's any two crystals and any mana potion so I'm going to cue this and it's going to show you it's going to make the heraldic staff for the act two um, at the end boss you need to put it in to unlock the door so it'll let you skip a ton of the act and that's a cool little uh, extra bonus that uh, you can use it's more for a nightmare in hell when you don't really want to have to go through those other areas um, but that's pretty much the, all that you need to know for the basics. Um, we're going to go over um, more advanced uh, stuff in the cube and crafting and everything in the next video. So hopefully see you there and uh, thanks for watching.